Hi everyone, welcome to my view. Fritz Lang's Metropolis from 1927. Um, so yes, here we are back again to review a silent film, and uh, here it is on Blu-ray, uh, massive cinema once again, uh, spine number 16. Um, so yes, simply comes out like this, and uh, yes, this is the this is the kind of recent, um, you know, restored um, and reconstructed. Uh, it's kind of referred to as, I think it was 2010. Um, you know, this was kind of um, released. Uh, this kind of uh, reconstruction here. Um, you know, so yes, um, I think to know, of course, this won't be a, a, a spoilers uh, review. Um, so if you haven't seen the film, uh, don't worry. I won't, be, I won't be getting into the kind of at least any plot details that would, um, you know, be, be considered spoilers at all. Um, but yes, very very famous film. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for a, for a while. Um, you know, but I have I have seen uh, you know some Fritz Lang films. Um, so that kind of you know that kind of affected maybe um, my my hype, you could say. Um, but yeah, basically. A film that, that kind of um, most film buffs, of course, are aware of this. Um, you know, it really is just one of the most famous films uh, for a number of reasons. This is a reconstructed um, and restored version, so you've got the kind of extra uh, extra footage in there, and it's, of course, it's very, very. Um, I will say it's very different in quality. You know, it's very. Uh, it's not you know the best of um, you know kind of uh, footage. You know, the quality of that um, compared to the rest of the film. So it is. You do notice, it, of course. Um, you know the kind of difference there. And it, that's something that I'm always kind of, um, it's not ideal for me, you know, it does kind of maybe take me out of the experience a little bit, potentially, um, but for me, you know, it was, it was uh, it's a film that really, um, you know, is, it's not, you know, most of the film or anything, it is, you know, um, it is a kind of a decent amount that's added, um, but it's not the entire film that's, you know, uh, what, you know, kind of lesser quality, you know, in terms of the picture, um, but again, you know, it's a, it's a film that um, was so interesting anyway, that, that, you know, I didn't really... It didn't really um, kind of ruin the experience, you could say, um, but I will know it's, it's, it's not, you know, it's not exactly the same quality, uh, you know, in, in terms of the, the picture quality to the rest of the film. Um, but yes, it's very interesting to actually finally see, um, you know, this film, uh, of course, and see how it was originally intended um, you know, to be shown. Um, you know, and this is a film I've been seeing and you know, wanted to see for a number of years. Um, most film was, of course, um, kind of, I, I guess, um, you know, kind of, are aware of this film and uh, you know, want to want to see this film at some point, um, you know. And of course, yes, I, I did. Um, I believe I picked this up. Um, you know, showed this on the Blu-ray update. Um, you know, if you remember that, you know, I, I'm pretty sure a few months ago now um, I showed this. And of course, uh, Dean Eva Lungen, um as well. Actually, um, that's a film that I probably I was looking forward to the most um, out of the Fritz Lang films. And uh, this film. Right here is, is um, of course, one of the most loved films, uh, really, um, of course, often hailed um, you know, as one of the very, very best, um, some say the best um, silent film, um, you know, that's, my pick is uh, City Lights, um, you know, and it's, it's many other silent films, um, you know, that I love, you know, silent cinema is one of my main sort of uh, loves, actually, um, you know, for cinema, and um, of course, yes, um, this is a film um, that I was definitely looking forward to, um, you know, of course, and, uh, you know, right off the, right, right away I will say, um, that this is, uh, for me, you know, a great film, um, you know, it was just such a, a creative, um, unique film, and, uh, you know, something that the sets, you know, um, all the use of miniatures and, and uh, mirrors, of course, uh, very, um, you know, very, very famous technique, um, you know, this combination, um, used, of course, to, to kind of um, create some sort of illusion, um, you know, it really is genius, you know, this is, um, I think, you know, in many ways, um, one of the most visually, um, you know, creative um, and just kind of awe-inspiring films, um, you know, I think the first half um, is really uh, masterful, um, I must say, um, this was just, um, you know, wowing me constantly, I was so invested, it had the, just the perfect amount of mystery, um, you know, that I, I just loved so much, um, you know, it had the kind of, uh, the setting up of these uh, characters, uh, subtly, subtly setting up these characters, of course, you've got this, um, this character of um, Freda, um, and he is uh, basically this wealthy uh, son of the, the master, um, you know, the mastermind, the, the kind of creator of this, this city, and yes, yeah, so I won't kind of get into the, the plot too much, um, because of course it could be, really it could be considered, um, you know, spoilers, and I don't want to kind of um, get into that, but yes, you know, basically, this, uh, you know, our protagonist, um, you know, essentially is, um, you know, this character of, of a freighter, um, you know, this kind of naive, uh, you know, charming, I think, uh, likeable um, character, of course, and 
this younger man, and uh, basically, yes, you know, he's played, of course, by um, Gustav um, Frilich, and uh, yes, basically, his father is, yeah, as we've said, you know, the the master of Metropolis, and uh, he's played by Alfred Abel, and um, you know, great performances. Um, these two here, um, really stunning, and of course, you've got this, um, yes, our protagonist, for for you know, you could say um, the first half of the film, and you know, maybe. You know, maybe he is throughout most of the film, um, but, you know, this character of Maria, um, you know, who's introduced, um, you know, is, is basically, um, you could say, you know, almost the same, you know, in, in terms of the, 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 the central um, kind of focus here. Um, Maria is a very, very uh, prominent character, um, you know, of course she comes into it. And yes, basically, the, you know, without spoiling too much, um, they form this relationship. And together, um, you know, they kind of want to free the workers from underneath, of course, of Metropolis, you know, is this kind of utopian um, you know, city here. Those underneath, the workers, um, you know, it's kind of um, maintained and they are basically, you know, essentially machines um, in, in the way they put to work, uh, mistreated, um, you know, they're basically slaves. And uh, yes, you know, you've got this, you know, this up above, you know, all these rich, um, you know, living off of this. And uh, it's a very, you know, it's a wonderful film in the way it kind of, um, initially at least, uh, builds this kind of, um, this uh, this split you know this split up and uh, how it kind of what it does you know in the end of the film you know it's a wonderful little thing um, you know this this kind of um, this theme um, you know the central theme here and of course yes these two characters um, you know uh, the two main characters here uh, Maria and of course um, Freda um, they basically try to unite um, you know this kind of divide and uh, the workers with of course those of up above and um, yes it's basically this film uh, exploring economic um you know inequalities um social as well of course and uh, yes this this um this film you know that kind of it also explores uh, well a number of um you know themes of revolution um you know and just i think um free will um you know and just uh, it's a very very sympathetic film um you know very powerful um in my opinion um certainly um you know and it, in the end you know it really does um kind of hit me and uh, yes it's a film that i think um you know, it's also one of the first kind of, you know, feature length um, sci-fi films, um, you know, and of course, German Expressionism uh, is such a, you know, wow, you know, such a kind of interesting um, area of cinema. Yes, this film, it has all that, you know, it has the kind of um, the angles, um, these these sets, um, but, you know, it kind of, and, and just generally this, this atmosphere, this maybe um, darker tone, you could say, um, it's certainly a dark film, um, but yes, this film really takes it to another level, um, you know, in terms of these sets. Um, they are, well, really, um, some of the very, very finest I've seen in cinema. Um, you know, of course, the I loved um, this this world building, you know, and it was through, of course, the the set design. Um, but then not just that, you know, just the, the kind of um, the exposition through through the kind of um, the dialogue and and just the, the overall storytelling. I think, you know, when we get to the hour and fifteen minute mark, uh, really, or the hour and ten mark, um, so it's basically halfway through, you know, this version of the film, obviously, um, and that's when things, you know, start to kind of um, go from a, a kind of a different direction, um, you know, uh, just in my opinion, in my experience with this film, I think, um, I don't think it's, you know, one of my favourite films, um, but it certainly, it kind of, um, because it kind of took a, a different direction, um, that kind of went off, and I wasn't as invested, um, you know, in the second half, um, that's what I'd say there, um, you know, the kind of, there's a very, very famous, um, you know, I had seen it before as well, even though, even though I've not seen the film, I'd seen the kind of image and, you know, the moment, um, part of the moment, um, very, very famous, of course, around the hour and a half mark, um, you know, you could say that's when it, it peaks again a little bit, but the last, um, basically the last hour is, um, it's not, not as enjoyable for me, it's, it's, it's very, um, it kind of, um, I think, personally, there's some unnecessary um, kind of moments here and, 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 and kind of, sequences um you know which i can't really get into um specifically because you know spoilers of course but you know it just um it's kind of a, a bit of a, a grueling experience um you know maybe that's the intention of course but i f i just think um you know a bit unnecessary um for me uh, and i think the first due to the first half you know i think this is you know it's a great film uh, because the first half for me is you know it is masterful um really really stunning cinema and um you know because it set everything up the characters I was behind every character. I was, um, you know, interested in every character. Um, the way that the film um, was directed um, really was pretty much perfect. And uh, you know, just seeing these these initial moments, you know, the sense of wonder, um, the the kind of the mystery to this, and uh, just the initial 
feeling, you know, it's very, um, it's quite a wonderful, um, you know, feeling. And then of course it goes, it goes very, very dark um, and unnecessary at times for me. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't compel me as much in the second half. Um, and I think it's just, it kind of loses, um, you know, focus of these characters for me and uh, this, I think, um, pretty much perfect tone uh, that had been set up. You know, it was dark, it was atmospheric, it was, it was, um, you know, maybe quite disturbing. Um, well, it certainly was, um, but it was also, um, you know, full of this kind of, um, this kind of uh, wonderful feeling, and um, uh, you know, it kind of had this, um, this charm to it. Um, the second half was a lot of, um, you know, massive, you know, massive se uh, scenes, uh, sequences, of course, involving many, many extras. Um, but you know, it's kind of, it's something that you know doesn't quite, um, you know, compel me to the level. Um, well, really, anywhere near the level of the first half, um, mainly. Um, but of course, the ending, I will say, um, it kind of picks up again. Um, you know, I loved. The actual end itself, you know, um, let's just say it's a it's a wonderful, wonderful um, ending, and uh, that can kind of sum up the the film, um, you know, perfectly. Um, you know, it really is stunning. You know, of course, the themes in this, you know, what it's exploring, you know, it really is something else. And of course, the visuals, you know, the cinematography, um, especially, um, you know, when you when you see these wonderful shots of this 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 city, of course, um, you know, some of the greatest moments visually really um, that I've seen um, it just is it's overwhelming you know it's 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 stunning uh, something to behold um, you know it's just uh, it transfixes me you know it really really does and of course seeing these characters um, uh, just seeing um, learning more about them um, you know that's one of the things about the second half it kind of um, you know it loses the sense of the the character development for me and it kind of it's very very um, heavy on its its messages and I think slightly it does um, it maybe is a bit, you know, for my liking, but heavy-handed. Um, you know, it's very. Um, I don't think it's, you know, subtle like the, the first um, half was really. Um, you know, for me, and it kind of there's a lot of uh, physical moments and uh, massive, massive sequences. Um, but it just doesn't, um, you know, kind of compel me. It doesn't transfix me um, like the the subtlety and um, the sense of, you know, atmosphere and wonder and uh, you know, blend of visual, you know spectacle um, with character moments and uh, building of these relationships um, you know, this romance perhaps um, of course there is kind of um, moments that happen in the middle of the film um, you know just after that half mark halfway mark that kind of flip the film a little bit and uh, go different directions um, some will respond you know really well to of course um, many people love this film and think it's one of the, you know and say is one of the best films ever made um, you know and I think you know I can understand um, you know I think the first half I would have probably agreed with that, um, but the second half, not quite, um, you know, I think overall this is a great film, um, you know, it's not, it's not quite one of the best films ever made for me, and, you know, overall, um, just as a kind of, as a complete work of cinema, um, I don't think it's quite there, um, you know, in that sense, and, uh, you know, I love silent cinema, um, but I do think there's a lot of better films, you know, um, silent films that I've seen even, and I've not seen, I have not seen, you know, um, all of the silent films, of course, you know, there's so many, um, I'm not going to be um, bold enough to have seen every single silent film, uh, you know, that would take some time, and, you know, I can't wait to do that, but, you know, it, it's a it's a journey that I've, I've still not really scratched the surface of, you know, um, at least in terms of, um, you know, by the numbers, um, but, you know, I think, you know, there's a lot of silent films that I prefer to this, you know, City Girl even, um, you know, seeing recently, of course, City Girl, Faust, I think Faust is a you know, much better film than this, um, personally, um, you know, yeah, basically all of Chaplin, um, Chaplin's feature, Silence, um, excluding um, A Woman of Paris, uh, which he didn't actually star in, but yes, this film, um, despite not being one of my favourite silent films, uh, it's a very, very compelling film, it's a, it's a film that I would call great, um, you know, it's definitely flawed um, for me in terms of the the, the, the narrative and uh, the overall uh, tone, um, it was more more um, kind of heavy on the messages and the kind of metaphors I feel and just the way it was done it wasn't quite as um, subtle and uh, I think investing in the second half um, but you've got this this uh, yeah, this feeling throughout that it's just um, you know it's unique it really is and of course there's no denying for me that this is uh, one of the best films ever made uh, visually um, absolutely it's just stunning to behold um, you know it, it's uh, it sets you know the production across the board is um, a work of art, uh, truly a work of art, um, genius, genius stuff, you know, the, the city itself and uh, the way it kind of reveals, you know, initially the, the underground, the, the kind of the underbelly to this and the way the workers are treated, you know, it's all 
so compelling, um, so kind of, you know, it's very disturbing, it's scary, it's, uh, of course, just mastering these, um, you know, world-building elements, uh, you know, how to tell a story uh, visually, um, you know, but it's kind of, you know, the use of um, these extras, of course, in the second half and the way it kind of goes different directions, uh, maybe it's a bit too a bit too heavy-handed uh, with its kind of messages, its themes uh, in the second half and uh, just kicking up these character uh, moments, uh, these, you know, these kind of, this tone, um, I feel, um, the kind of blend of drama and, um, you know, sci-fi, of course, and uh, this mystery, um, you know, it's kind of, it does go off, um, you know, but overall, I do think it's a great film. So yes, in terms of a critical rating, um, what would I give this film? It's hard to decide um, because it is kind of a, a, a a slightly uneven film for me, um, but overall, taking everything into account, uh, you know, my enjoyment of the first half um, and slight, slightly less enjoyment, or um, well, definitely less enjoyment of the second half, um, but no, no denying the the the, the technical um, you know, prowess and overall the way it comes together at the end, you know, kind of, um, you know, it does it does kind of, uh, you know, bring the, bring together the themes uh, very much um, in, in in you know stunning fashion. Um, the actual ending shot, you know, is really a a wonderful moment. Um, so yes, I think this is a great film, um, and it is, for me personally, um, a ninety percent. Um, you know that is a very high score from me. Uh, I think it's a great film. Um, you know, certainly a film that I'd recommend to anyone um, you know, who who loves sci-fi. Um, you know who who watches films. You know, really, um, it's just a stunning film. You know, it's a it's a film that you know um, I would have given it. You know, definitely higher marks uh, if it kind of remained. You know, in the first to the quality and the investment for me or you know that first half it did it did go off it did um it's kind of a slight struggle at times you know in the in the last hour it's very much um you know it goes on you know in terms of the uh, slightly repetitive scenes you know and uh, maybe unnecessary scenes i can get you know what it's trying to do and, and you know the scene showing the struggle and, and all these themes we've kind of mentioned um you know indirectly maybe in this review because i can't i'm not going to get into specifics um but it's kind of it's something that I maybe I don't think it needed to go on um, for that long in terms of what it was showing um, to get to, to explore its themes, um, you know, and to actually, you know, because the way it comes together at the end is just, it's just like that, you know, it's perfectly um, kind of sums this up and uh, it's very direct, um, you know, and this is a film that does explore, you know, spirituality um, as well very wonderfully, um, you know, and I don't think it needed to kind of. Um, you know, it's a film that, you know, really in the first half, uh, you know, it done all these things, explored all these different themes and uh, these kind of feelings, um, you know, in just a subtle way, um, a gradual way. And, uh, you know, it's very, I found it a little bit more, um, you know, heavy handed. Um, that's the thing in the second half, especially the last hour, um, really. But when it came together in the end, I kind of thought, you know, maybe, you know, I, I would have personally preferred the film if it had, um, you know, maybe less lessened the kind of, the, the scenes that I found, you know, very much a bit repetitive, you know, and, and stuff um, in that last hour, and it would have been more more powerful for me and more um, just more more affecting. Um, but yes, you know, it's a great film. Uh, you know, it's a, a film that I don't think it is one of the best films ever made. Uh, personally, I think, you know, I definitely take films like Faust, um, you know, for example, you know, different Chaplin films, you know, and um, you know, City Girl as well. Um, recently, I saw. And, Buster Keaton films, uh, particularly ones there, you know, I take them over this, um, you know, I love silent cinema, um, this is another film you could say I loved, um, you know, I think it's a film that I definitely love the first half of, um, the second half, a little bit unsure of, you know, um, after first viewing, um, maybe I'll, uh, you know, kind of take to this a bit more um, on another watch, um, but I can't really promise anything, you know, it's a film that, that's fine, you know, I didn't respond to as much the second half, um, but, you know, I think um, I took so many, uh, you know, so much inspiration from this film and uh, I think I, I loved the first half um, you know really really um, you know for me masterful cinema um, you know the the investment I had you know in that first half was really really um, you know, I was just I was drawn to this film I loved um, really everything that was happening and uh, I just I was so interested in um, you know what would happen next um, the, the second half I wasn't as invested at all um, you know but overall taking everything into account and kind of balancing that out you know I think it's a great film um, with you know masterful first half um, and of course masterful visuals throughout. So yes, overall, um, you know I think it's a great film. Um, it's kind of a film that I'm split on a little bit um, personally, um, but that's just cinema. That's how it goes, and uh, of course all opinions are welcome. Um, you know it's a film that I'm very much 
you know, split on uh, whether I, I really, really like the film or maybe love the film overall, because um, it's a very, for me, it's a very um, uneven film, you know, in, in its overall sense, but it is a great one and uh, not one of my favourite, you know, kind of silent films, um, you know, it's not one of my, my you know, favourite films, um, you know, in cinema kind of thing, um, but it is a great film and uh, I certainly recommend it, of course. You know, it's a, so I films, you know, can, can be divisive, you know, uh, more just like any films and that's just the way it is. It's the way um, cinema goes, of course, and uh, it's, it's, it's absolutely fine, um, you know, to not always agree on everything. Um, but any opinion, you know, to this film, uh, any respectful opinion is absolutely uh, more than welcome. And uh, yes, yeah, so I personally really, really responded to this one. Um, not one of my favourite films, uh, but it is a great one in my opinion. And uh, yes, really um, looking forward to uh, Dini Belungan. Um, that's the one that I, you know, really can't wait for. Um, that's, fantasy epic um you know like that looks very very appealing to me um personally and i uh, can't wait for that we should watch that in the next um, few months and um yes tell me your thoughts of course um any talks on cinema um, in general as always are welcomed and uh, yes as always thanks for watching my review